Tonight's episode is full of competition, and we learned that forgiving is living. Don't you go anywhere when we break down episode four of Ballers. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Come on. Mm. <laughs> I listen to this song all the it, time now. Ever gets, since we first started playing it, like I, I added it to my workout playlist. And I'm not sick of it yet. I'm so happy that like <laughs> we happened to listen to the end of that whatever episode this came on. I was yeah. like, what is that? I got right? Shazamming <laughs> up like, to the TV. Like, man, who is this? Amazing. Yes. Anyway, y'all, thanks again for joining us uh, one more time for the Ballers After Show. Um, we have so much in store for you. We have, It's like a jam-packed right now. So we'll just get right into it. Uh, who do I have joining with me today? What's up, everyone? It's Francesca. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Tanir. Yes, and I am Ivana, and we're going to discuss, as always, Joe and Spencer and Lance and that little triangle they got going on. Mm -hmm. Uh, Messy, messy, messy. Girl, ain't it a mess? And then we're definitely going to discuss Ricky. We can't not talk about Ricky and how's his progress so far and what we all think of his progress or lack thereof. Okay. So what were some of your overall thoughts about um, season four, episode four? Well, uh, first of all, you know, going in with the uh, the whole Ricky situation, Mm -hmm. you know, I thought it was... uh, very Sad. interesting. I mean, it's you're kind of starting to see where where that all is going to go. So I was like, ooh, wee, you yeah. know, and then obviously the whole, you know, uh, company situation. So I'm like, yeah, that was oh, mm. always exciting. You know, it's plummeting pretty quickly. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, it's like they just acquired it and it's like it's just going downhill, girl. It's a mudslide. So <laughs> you're like. Yes, yep. it is. <laughs> yes, it is. So to start off, um, like we said, we were um, they were making a lot of phone calls or whatever, seeing who's on our side, who's staying, who's going, basically. And a lot of people were like, hey, I'm staying with Lance, right. you know? And I, uh, I mean, I'm not surprised that they wanted to stay with Lance anyway, because that's the person that they have built this um, rapport with. Like, right. Joe and Spencer, like, who are y'all? You right. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, and, and granted, I heard, you know, by the way, they were talking with some of the other um, competitors, I guess, other men who were interested. They knew of them, but obviously they weren't going anywhere because they truly supported Lance, and that's what it was. So did, very- y'all, did y'all feel bad for Joe and Spencer? I did. I mean, I almost did too. Yeah, it's a bad business move. Almost, I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a bad business move, but I still almost felt a little sorry for them. I, I didn't, they got in over their head, and like oh, you said, yeah. everything came too quickly. Everything started falling apart too quickly, and you know, they're they're not from the sports world, so you can't be mad at everyone or the export X world. So right. you can't be mad at all all those athletes that are like, you know, what, I'm gonna stick with Lance, even though he's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I thought it was interesting because when you're dealing with, I thought you kind of saw how the kind of X sports, X games kind of culture was, how yeah. most of them were like, I'm sticking with my dude. I don't know if they maybe thought like, hey, this might be like football, like, hey, what's up? You know, come yeah. with me, yeah. do this. But they were like, probably because their sports, like Lance was a big influence in bringing that whole culture along. So, of course, they're probably like, hey, like, uh, I forgot who it was. Uh, it was either Kelly Slater or Laird, one of the surfers mm-hmm. was like, hey, man, he... He got me started. You know, Tony Hawk was right, like, yeah. he started my thing. Yeah, so. I saw that too. Yes. And, and that was, wow, a blast from my past too. I was like, Tony, Tony Hawk, Hawk, what the heck? Oh my God. Am I back in seventh grade? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but what a pleasant surprise though, for sure. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what's about to happen with this. Well, I mean, we do. We see at the end that clearly they were trying to, you know, they want to stick with it, but I don't know. That was a very expensive it I don't was. want to call it an F up just yet. Mm. What do y'all so yeah so far so far you're still trying to we'll see. Yeah no I okay it, like you said it's uh, yeah they are um, it's, trying to figure it out. You I know? must say it's plummeting it's, but they're still trying to save themselves. They and are. usually they they do. I think they save themselves pretty well. So they get out of a lot of problems. Well the first was just getting the whole company situation. Right. You know, coming in and getting you know when they come in everybody's heading out. And, you know, Spencer kind of anchors down mm-hmm. the ship, like, okay, we need to, who's staying? And, you know, um, what's her name? Mm-hmm. Jess. Go- Jess. You know, he gets her to stay, which was, like, key, you know, because I, I feel like she's going to, she's kind of like the little glue. Jess to kinda, needs to stay. She finessed keep them into going. promotion. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I would have done the same. Yeah. No, she was, she was a good, she was a good pickup, so, mm-hmm. you know, that's okay. uh, Well. Um, well, hey, after buzzers, as we transition <laughs> right into <laughs> my read, uh, our network produces after shows for nearly all your favorite network TV shows. 
From dramas, reality TV, sci-fi, and more, there's no network that works harder to serve television fans. But we need your help. We're asking that you please subscribe to one or more of our YouTube channels. And by subscribing to our channel, YouTube will suggest content that's tailor-made for you, and you'll help AfterBuzz continue to grow. And if you're worried about pesky notifications, you know what? Don't be, because they're optional. So hit that subscribe button now for this channel and check out our other AfterBuzz YouTube channels as well. Let us know you did so in the comments and we'll thank you on air. And for now, thanks for being the best fans and for helping us be the ESPN of TV talk. That's so cute. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad you can read so well to me. Um, My mom would be too. She would aw. be like, what? We put all that, you know. <laughs> that boy can read. Right. <laughs> I do want to get into Ricky because, mm. um, I mean, I'm rooting for him, but I don't know physically. I don't, I don't know about, you know, when it comes to football. I'm rooting. I want to see him win. Win, 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 right. win. But I want to see him win in another way. Like, I, you know, like, can you, can you stop playing football now? Because it really touched me whenever he was training with Randy, um, Randy Couture. I, mm -hmm. I always screw up the word Couture, whatever. Um, but he was saying, like, you know, we work on our mind mm -hmm. more than we work on this. And I'm like, great, this is exactly what Ricky needs to hear so that he understands that your, well, your mind, your mental health, it, it, that comes first. Mm -hmm. But then Ricky said, well, yeah, I know, but I'd rather be um, playing, basically, than cooped up in my house. And it just, you know, those are the extremes. That's what he thinks. He's like, if I'm not playing, then I'm only in the house. But there's so many other things that you can explore in between that. You don't right. have to stay in the house. So, right. and they were like, all right, cool. Let's keep, you know, working on therapy. But I feel that he's just simply ignoring his mental health at this point. I like that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm blanking on the coach's name. What's Couture? Couture. Couture. Yeah, Couture. Randy Couture. Randy, yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that he told him, if, if you want to do this for, like, the money in the cars, then just retire this is not mm -hmm. for you and you have to be there mentally i, yeah. I like that because yeah. yeah he's his trainer and he needs to focus on that but i was happy to see him back in the gym because remember from the previous episode he completely bombed his mm. little girl practice. and walked mm -hmm. off right <laughs> yeah, just kept yeah. on going Ooh, water, yeah sh gone well this is i i feel like a lot of what you see with pro athletes you know as they get towards the end of their career it's that that, that teetering on yeah and they start how much longer out. yeah and mm -hmm. it's kind of again going back to hey this is what i do this is who i am and now that's starting to yeah. erode a little bit or at least they think so so it's like oh, i'm just gonna work on it i can mentally you know yeah and uh like you said you just hope it doesn't end him up in or he doesn't end up in a bad place by making a bad decision yeah rather than uh, you know saying like hey you know what i need to just retire and like you said move on to oops sorry move on to another <laughs> Part Definitely. Of my life. I mean, what mm. good are all those things, you know, the money and the cars if your mind ain't right? Right. Like, how do you even enjoy those things? Right. Well, like you said, especially even like you see a lot of these guys now in the NFL with the whole thing with the concussions and as they get older in life, like a lot of these injuries and stuff. And you're like, yeah, like if you're old, you know, as you get older and you have all this money, but if you can't enjoy or you're sick, right. cooped up in a bed or you got to spend, you know, it's like, what good was it all? Like, just step away and for sure enjoy that. Enjoy your family. Enjoy what you've done the fruits of your labor that you know that you worked hard for so. did we talk about Amen. i can't remember if we talked about this the last episode or what do you i don't know what his name is i'm blanking on his name but he like quit football because he had gotten like three four concussions he's like i don't want to keep putting my health at risk you're talking about a real football player yeah for, uh, oh thinking. i know there's been <laughs> it was which one okay. like where do you want to just start recently uh -huh. that's why um, um, oh well, there's been so, well it's interesting because i mean the big thing in the news has been like guys have started retiring earlier you know like younger and they're just like hey i've had enough like i don't want to good for them you know because you have people like i mean I, I remember famous cases like troy aikman you know he used mm -hmm. to play for the cowboys he had had like so many at least that they diagnosed you know who knows how many more they get mm -hmm. that went undiagnosed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they were just like, man, if you take another one, like, you could be out, like, you could die type stuff, you know? Not so. only that, you know, especially with me being from Texas, like, I, it starts so early for these young men, mm. for these boys, right. you know, it, we, we only learn about the trauma that they um, faced while they were playing professionally. But what about when they were playing high school right. football? You know what I mean? Like, we, we, a lot of times we don't even think to go that far and see just how deep this trauma is and how much it really has affected them um, mentally for years, decades, really. Um, so yeah, that was just another thing that, that kind of just, you know, came to my mind as well. 
Um, but since we have you all here, and we hope you all are enjoying our show, and if you ever want to listen to it back, make sure you check us out on SoundCloud and iTunes. Give us all the thumbs up, the five stars, five stars. the comments. <laughs> yes, and share it with your friends and your family. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You can share the link. Tell them to listen to us because we're so awesome. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, again, don't forget to check us out on SoundCloud and iTunes. Okay? Now, um, I know you had another ballin'. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we've been getting we've what, been working on this segment, yes, people. Have. So it's coming up every it's week. Um, shout out to Felicia. She's not here this week, but we mm. miss you, girl. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we've been, basically, you guys know that, um, oh, yeah, I guess our segment with ballin'. I don't know if we have our music. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, <laughs> this is our segment of just called Ballin. Hey. So basically, we go into. Um, What's the most ballin thing ballin'? you've ever heard yeah, of or experienced? And you know, last time, whenever we, <laughs> yes. So I, I know you had something else to show them. It was like this catch that you saw. I hadn't even seen it today. I, I have been so out of everything social media the past few days. So that blew my mind. I did actually. If I don't have the uh, the video for those who are listening by you know Tell us podcast or yes, radio. Happened? So I don't know if you guys saw this weekend, but uh, UCLA and uh, Oklahoma were playing, uh, and this guy. There was just a play where one of the receivers went out for a, a pass. Quarterback threw it to him. He was from Oklahoma, and he just went up like with one hand, did like an Odell Beckham, like just caught the ball. I nice. mean, didn't cuff it, then do. I mean, it was just his hand. So I'm thinking, first of all, how big is your hand, homie? Like, because he was just like squeezing it, like wham. Um, that was my kind of like my my sports balling, like because you just look at that, you'd yeah. be like, this boy's balling right here. Like, yeah, that's the way. I felt. I don't know if anybody else. Uh, no, I saw the clip. You showed me before here, so it sucks that we don't and have it. I apologize it that I didn't. No, it's fine. But that it. was that was dope. It was balling. Wow. Look it up. Just Oklahoma UCLA one handed <laughs> catch. Look that up on YouTube. I guarantee you it'll come up right For away. Sure. So. Now today, tonight, we are doubling up on episodes, so we're not going to get into predictions. But um, just stay tuned here for season four, episode five, because we're just going to be right here in our same clothes. We're not going to change clothes or anything. <laughs> um, just, she's letting them all behind the curtain. You're going to be in the same stuff. I'm going to so. be in the same thing, just to let you know. Um, but anyways, where can we find you? You can find me on all social media, at Tanir W. Oh, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at XOXOCESCA. And again, I'm Ivana. You can find me on everything, Twitter and Instagram at Hey, I'm Ivana. It's Hey, I'm I-V-A-N-N-A. And like I said, don't you go anywhere. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the host only, do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Buzz,